y'all crochet stuff in life with deborah presents me deborah with some shopping hauls today okay you girls been shopping so been shopping at a few places gonna start with goodwill yes um look at this yes the outside of this wrapping paper is a little rough but it's nice wrapping paper and look how much is still on that roll let me see how much it was without hitting the ceiling fan with it this was 99 cents and it's about four times the amount of wrapping paper that you would get at Dollar Tree so I figure this and I am going to have to wrap at least one Christmas present this year or at least one set of Christmas presents to send to my secret Santa person are you my secret Santa person are you going to receive gifts from me get to wait and see anyhow that okay and I'm going to be tossing stuff over there as usual piled up on the bed um, also random I got this for sewing yes I need to take up my sewing again I have got like five sewing machines yeah I kind of went that's when I started getting them but look at this still in the package a big old cardboard cutting thing with the thing with the bias and the grid and, and all the things two bucks $1.99 what yeah and it's in perfect shape still in the package so you heard that hit okay now what else did I get at uh, Goodwill I got this which will become a project bag yes it's going to go in the wash first because everything goes in the wash this was the most expensive thing that I bought I think it was $2.99 but it's a super nice bag yes there is pink on it yes y'all pink haters will get over it I'm just saying uh, but in here it is not the only thing in here <laughs> oh this is the only yarn that I got at Goodwill it's red ticket which this week that meant it was half price so I got this for 50 cents and it's a ball of some kind of acrylic looks to me like could be a three could be a four it'll be good for scrap yarn it'll get used it's wrapped in like plastic wrap I think but yeah 50 cents okay I'll take some yarn from y'all also in this bag is one of four pair of jeans because I kept finding things on a red ticket now normally their blue jeans are eight dollars seven ninety nine so they're four dollars a pair um, I got three for the hubby and I went and pick, picked up one for my friend Sean his birthday is this week and he was with me he was driving me around because he indulges me that way and we found him some we found the hubby some so four pair of jeans and oh goodness that's some in here and some in here and I feel so sorry for the cashier anybody who's ever cashiered before knows that this can happen I was paying with my credit card or debit card or whatever and she accidentally cashed it out after scanning everything and ringing everything up she's like oh my god as soon as the drawer popped open when she did it I knew what she did I was a cashier for many many years y'all it happens and I am not like one of those Karen's at the store that's not me she was super sweet you know young girl and I'm like it's okay we'll figure it out I said you know I have been a cashier if you haven't done that at least once you've never been a cashier okay so she got her manager to come down manager like yeah we can fix this it's not a problem so she did like a massive void and then kind of rung it in you know haphazard so it wouldn't take so long really nice folks at the Goodwill in Hartwell so yeah Hartwell Georgia okay that is all of the Goodwill stuff that part is done now we go to Dollar Tree and not everything from Dollar Tree I've got all the snacks and all the usual household stuff in the other room but I did get some cool stuff oh just for me gonna try out the BB cream from sassy and chic it's a buck it's in light we'll try it and see I have a bag right here to, to transfer stuff into so I don't throw everything on the bed also I just cannot pass up a cute notebook I just can't do I have like five zillion of them yes look at these aren't they super cute both full of lined paper and you know it's just a book of lined paper on a spiral both of them are but the outsides are super cute okay in the back that was louder than I expected okay and also some of this stuff may end up as giveaway fodder don't think I'm getting all of this for me I am approaching 500 subs once I hit 500 subs and stay solid at it for you know a day or three there will be a big giveaway these will be add-ins into the giveaway so 
tell a friend, bring a friend, okay? Just trying to get out all of the, well, I got a lot of stuff, didn't I? <laughs> Sometimes, you know, the impulse buy section near the registers, those are made for people like me. Because I'm like, oh, that's so cute. I have to have it. I have to have all of it. There's more. But wait, there's more. Okay, I think that was all. Oh, no, here's another one. Hello. Good gravy. All right. I had to have this because it's purple and it's a unicorn and it's a tape dispenser. It's so stinking cute. It just is. Yeah, that's mine. This, oh my God, it's a notepad and it's shaped like a kitty. No, the paper is not kitty, I don't believe, but it's shaped like a kitty and the kitty is wearing a necklace and it's adorable. So yeah, Dollar Tree, y'all. I got two of these. I got one in blue. It's supposedly a cosmetics case, but it's a zipper case, you know, zipper top, and it will hold, you know, crochet hooks and stuff. And I got one in pink. Again, with the possible giveaway fodder. More stickers. Y'all receive cards from me. You know that I love putting stickers on them. These are dinosaurs. Yeah, I might just stick them on things myself. Okay, also, oh yes, this is a sticker book too. And I just thought these were cute. They're, some are glitter, some are puffy. Yes, little monkeys and little sloths in little space suits. Oh my God, how cute is that? And there's a kitty with a cape in there and just, just a bunch of super cute stickers. Just, you know, expect it on your cards because I am kind of a sticker fanatic. This is definitely going to be giveaway fodder because I think I'm going to hit 500 before the end of the year. Gosh, I hope so. This is a 2022-2023 planner with all sorts of cool images of our amazing planet, including this awesome desert scene. Yes. These are like little stickies. To, they're sticky tabs. They're four designs. It's, they're cats. How can I pass that up? They're cats. Better do these before I lose them. Got a pink topped glittery looking pen. I have a blue one with a uh, blue jewel and glitter. Yes. Oh, and you know my obsession with Halloween. This will be a project bag. And I've got it wrapped around something else. Look at the carabinas. Yes, sugar skulls. And yeah, just a little thing to, when I'm taking a bag in the car, somebody else is driving and it's daylight, I'm crocheting, okay? So there's that. Oh, another one that's too cute. I had to have it. Fantastic. It's supposed to be a treat bag for the kids. I don't have kids, so I don't need a treat bag. But this, yeah, it's probably gonna have a project in it because Crochet, yeah. I told you I was kind of obsessed with towels, but look at this adorable towel. Love cooking. It's cute. It only has the big pattern on one side. And this is one of those thin flower sack towels. So I don't know if I'm gonna do this a different way or if I'm just gonna make this for myself or if I'm just gonna make it a set for somebody else. But super cute towel. And there was yarn, but not a lot of yarn. The only yarn that they had at this Dollar Tree at this time was some of the smaller balls of Crafter Secret. Or excuse me, Crafter Square, not Crafter Secret. And I got these. Sort of a heathered gray, which is, oh, let's see if it has a color name. Oh, can't they just make it flash out when I'm looking for it? I mean, come on. Well, I don't think it says, actually. It's a four weight. Um, looks like a kind of a smallish four, but it, I think it would still be a four. Got a red and I got sort of a deep royal or deep navy blue. It looks like a dark navy. Anyhow, if nothing else, they will be good fodder for the blanket that I'm making on um, my crochet tober slash vlogtober blanket. There will be an update on that later today. Put these in the bag for now. Oh, and one more thing. Uh, from Dollar Tree. Yes, we can get two calendars for a dollar. Oh my gosh, the big wall calendar that has different kitties for each month. They're stinking adorable. And the little one, which also has kitties for each month in it. 
You can't pass up a deal like that. Well, at least I can't. That's just me. All right. Next store is Marshalls. Pardon me, stepping over here. Oh my gosh, this bag is heavy. All right. For one thing, I got this really cute bag at Marshalls. And I got some cute things for the house. Oh wow, crinkle and paper. So sorry, y'all. It had to happen. Okay. And yeah, they wrap things up pretty well, especially for the price I paid for these. This was 10 bucks. You have got to see the mugs and the kitties. It's a rack to, to hold these mugs in and some really, really cool kitties on them. Look at that. I had to show you before they got washed and put out for use because yes, these will go very nicely next to my kettle and my um, coffee maker. Right now though, they're gonna sit right back here so that I don't destroy them inadvertently. This, I've needed a better cheese grater. The one that I have is kind of flimsy and wonky when you try to use it. This is one uh, with the eight sides. Yes, no, six, six sides, sorry. Um, it even says right there, six graters in one. It's got all the different graters on it, but it's got a good handle and it's sturdy on the bottom and it won't slip and you can do the thing. And it was $7 which is not a bad price for a good sturdy one like that. Oh boy, running out of room, okay. Oh, <laughs> you know, there are some sugar, some sweeteners, sugar-free sweeteners that are delicious. This is one by Skinny Syrups and I have never seen this flavor before, glazed donut. It's sugar-free, you can put it in your coffee, you can put it in whatever. Um, you could put it in drinks if you thought it would go in like a regular drink, but yeah, it goes good in milk type stuff too. So I got that. That was four bucks and it's glittery and it's Halloween-y, so I had to get it. Nail files. Look at that. Look at, the, oh, the glitter. It's mesmerizing, isn't it? This was also four bucks. That was kind of a little splurge. A silly, superfluous splurge but I could not help myself. And I'm trying to not drop things. It's not very easy for me. Also, I broke my favorite spatula. If you do a lot of cooking, you will end up with a favorite spatula. And mine was very similar to this and it just got really old and it broke up by the handle. This is an OXO, which is a good grips one and it's, they're better spatulas. This was $5, but if it lasts as long as my last one did, it is definitely going to be worth it. I also love to use lemons and limes. I love to squeeze them. I love to, I zest them. I have a microplane for that. But to get the juice out, sometimes I use the reamer and it gets messy and I get juice all over myself. I've wanted one of these presses and I finally picked one up because they had it at Marshall's. It was seven bucks. I have seen cheaper ones, but this one is actually metal and I think it will last a good long time. It says sturdy die cast aluminum press, great for lemons and limes, makes juicing easy says it right there and dishwasher safe that is important okay the reason this thing is so heavy is i got two new pans yes hubby was with me and he helped me decide on these because he does a lot of the cooking too and he wanted the slightly smaller wok which has a non-stick surface and our non-stick frying pan that we have is sad y'all you know when the nonstick surface starts to flake off, it gets really disgusting. It's time for it to go. I'm like, okay, we'll get these, but we got to get rid of the nasty pan. And he's like, deal. So, look at that. This is nice. It's sturdy. It'll work on any type of stovetop, including gas, including electric, including induction. I don't have an induction yet. This is an 11-inch fry pan by Dean and White. Don't know who Dean and White are, but hopefully they make a decent pan. This is $16.99. I like the handle. It's got kind of a cushy handle to it. Um, yeah, so there is that. And this one made by the same folks. This is a small flat bottom wok. And we do a lot of wok cooking in the house. I do stir fries. Hubby does stir fries. Yes, I can pick up a wok and fling it if it has a handle. The wok that I use most often does not have a decent handle. I don't dare pick it up and flay it. But this will be good for small batch stuff. 
and uh, that inside is actually um, nonstick. So there we go. That one was 19. The, the pan was 16. The wok was 19. That, oh, save the best for last, I guess. Michaels. I went to a Michaels. I haven't been to a Michaels in a couple of years. Yeah. Okay. Near the checkout. <laughs> Near the checkout is where they get me. I love Lisa Frank. This is a Lisa Frank coloring and activities book. So, yes, my crayons and my markers will be put to good use. Playing with that, it was all of 75 cents. Just a fun little purchase. I got some free little patterns. You know how they have the patterns hang in places. They did not have the clearance yarn that I was looking for, though. I was hoping to find some of the clearance cotton that I've seen other people get. I heard, saw somebody mention they got 20 balls of um, either the chameleon cotton or the hipster cotton one of the two for 79 cents each I was flipping out this store did not have a single ball of the hipster cotton or the chameleon cotton so I'll live and they had the anniversary cakes but I didn't have a coupon and I was not spending $35 on one cake of yarn I'm just saying I got crochet mittens um, I got the crochet market bag kind of cool and the square crochet basket so yeah might make any of those might not who knows Picked up some buttons. They're more expensive at Michael's than they are at Walmart, but Walmart doesn't have these colors. I need more buttons for my towel toppers. And, oh, I have needed a dowel for my stitch marker holder. Not this long, obviously. I'm going to cut it. But this was a quarter. So, yeah. For a quarter, yeah, I'll cut it myself. It's all good. I did get something yarny there, though. Something that I have been looking at and drooling over when I see it on everybody's channels because it is so stinking beautiful. The unforgettable. Oh my gosh. My camera's blowing it out. But wow. Aren't those pretty colors? This is unforgettable in dragonfly. It has the purples and greens and blues. And I just had to have it. Um, it's a four weight. It is. Let's see. I'm pretty sure it's all. Yeah, 100% acrylic. It's a four. It looks like it roves a little bit, a little bit of roving there. Each ball is 100 grams and 246 meters. So, yeah. I don't know what I'm making out of it yet. But I will make something, no matter what I make out of this, it will turn out very beautiful because of the colors. Because, oh, those colors are flipping everything. So, yeah, that was it. That was my final thing from Michaels. But yeah, I didn't get any other yarn. They didn't have any good sales going. I didn't have any coupons. And I have yarn. But I cheated myself. Yeah, these were like 7 or $8 a ball. Yeah, who the heck am I, right? Anyway, thanks for coming by for my huge, like, weirdly three-store haul, three-store, four-store. I don't know. I went all over the place. I am going to have a, uh, a haul from Torrid coming up. It's actually kind of a double Torrid haul because I ordered some online and then I went to the store because me having time off work is not a good thing. Um, that'll be coming up as well later on this week. There's also going to be snacks around the world. There'll be a tutorial. There'll be vloggy things and Vlogtober is all month long. So be sure and look out for that. Thank you for coming by today. I appreciate it. And uh, if you could leave me a comment down below, that would be awesome. See you soon.